Hey everyone out there, I just want to do a small video here where I'm going to say something that is really important for people to understand. I've said it a few times, on the, I often say it on the Kickstarter weekend, I say it in some of the teaching we have, but I understand there are so many who really don't understand it or have heard it. What you see on YouTube, what you see on my YouTube channel, what you see in our movies is real. But it's not the full picture. It is real when people experience God. It's real when they get set free. It's real what you see, but it's not the full picture. <laughs> because the full picture is very different often from what you see. Because the full picture is that sometimes people don't get healed when we pray for them. The full picture is that sometimes when we baptize people, it, it, it is, there is no manifestation and nothing strong is happening. The full picture is that we pray for people who don't experience freedom. The full picture is we stop people out on the street who reject us, who don't want to listen to us. The full picture is that it's not always breakthrough time. The full picture that sometimes is really, really hard. I come here in, in our movie, The Last Reformation, The Beginning. We see a beautiful story of Maria. I shared it on Facebook and YouTube a few days ago again. With a young girl in a shopping mall, I met and she got set free and she got baptized and received the Holy Spirit. And Maria is changed today and I shared something about it a few days ago. What you saw there was real. But what you did not see was that that day I was out on a streak in a mall and I could walk there for a half hour, 45 minutes, got rejected, rejected, rejected. Nobody wants to listen to me. Nobody wants to have prayer. Nobody wants to talk. And I just felt this is bad day. Nothing is happening. And I was ready to give up. And it was a really a, a bad day out on the street but what happened i thought okay let's take one more and that one more was maria and it became a good day not a bad day a good day the truth is that when you we the truth is that we often share videos and i'm guilty in that like everyone else uh, that we share videos with those things we experience where it's powerful, where there's deliverance, where there's healing, where people meet God. Why? Because we are excited about it. I get excited about when it happened and it breaks through. And I want, of course, to share that testimony with people out there and therefore I put it on YouTube on a video. I don't share the other things. And I'm guilty in that and I admit that and we, we need to be better to explain that. What is the other things? The other things is those times where people don't get healed. I often pray for people where they don't get healed there now. Those times where we baptize people and there is not a big deliverance and they don't start to speak in tongues right away, we sometimes, you know, we still see that. Those deliverance and those examples where it's not so strong. Often we don't share that. We don't share on video where we go around for 45 minutes and an hour before we find that girl like Maria. <laughs> we don't share that. But that is the real life. And I want to say sorry that, that we need to be better to explain it. I often explain it to the Kickstarter weekend. I've explained it in the Pioneer School. But I know it don't come out so clear in the videos. Um, I'm just excited for the good things. I'm excited when it breaks through. I want to show, whoa, this was strong. See this. And I want to share that because this is what I live for. This is what I'm excited for. But the real picture is that it's not always like that. The real picture, the full picture is that sometimes it is hard. We learn. We are disciples. I see many times where people don't get healed. I see more healings now than I did last year and more healings last year than I did the year before because we are learning, we are growing and I want to become more and more like Christ. So that is the idea, but I just want to encourage you out there. I want to say sorry if we are not making it so clear. I want to encourage you out there and say what you see on YouTube 
is not the full picture. What you see on YouTube is just a little glimpse of the real life. Because the real life is that often it's hard, often nothing happens, often we are tired, often there's persecution, often we are rejected, often people don't want to listen to us. That is the real life for everyone, also for me. In a new movie we are giving out, The Last Reformation, The Life that's coming out next year, we have one chapter in the movie about desert period, about where people mock us, where people reject us, where people don't want to get prayed for, when we pray for people and they don't get healed, and we have a chapter about that. And those few people who have seen the new movie, they are really excited about that chapter and say it's so good that we get these things out in a movie because it would just encourage so many people. But I don't want you to wait to get encouraged to the new movie. I just want to encourage you right now and say, come on, don't be discouraged when you don't see the breakthrough every time because nobody sees the breakthrough. Don't be discouraged when you are out on the street and go around and, and get rejected again and again and don't see the breakthrough you see on YouTube because we all get rejected. What you see on YouTube is not the full picture. It's just a little glimpse of the full picture. Okay guys, so I just want to say, do this video to just encourage you and say sorry and say it's not always easy because I'm, come on, I'm, I'm excited, I'm, I'm telling about the good things, I'm telling about what excited me and, and very often like with Maria when I'm gone around the whole a street uh, in an hour and get rejected again and again or half hour I reject again and again and I then met Maria and experienced the powerful thing there. I forget all about what happened the last hour or half hour because I remember the good thing. It's like a woman giving birth. It's painful when it happened, but in that second the baby comes out. She has forgotten all about the pain because something beautiful had just come to the world. The same way when, when, when we do baptism and, and preaching the gospel and doing that, we, we often forget the pain when the beauty thing beautiful thing have got born yeah hope you understand be encouraged every one of you out there and remember what you see on YouTube is maybe real but it's not the full picture it's just a little picture of the real life because life is hard and often it don't go exactly the way we want it but we are learning we are growing God bless you bye bye